thought NJCU came in and, and played with a lot of heart. Um, they all scrapped us. They all fought us. Uh, I was disappointed in our effort. Um, that's normally what we do, the teams. So you got to give those guys a lot of credit. Um, I thought we came out the second half, played a little better. But overall, I'm very disappointed in our effort. Um, I got to find a way to get us better in the next week going into VCU. Well, I thought we just settled down a little bit. I thought we was too hype. Um, you know, it's understandable. You know, we, we haven't been home in, in a long time. It's a brand new facility, and it was a good crowd. I thought the student body came out. I was very proud to see that. Um, they, they was very loud. Um, and so guys was, I think, a little too juice. Uh, so w once we settled down a little bit, uh, I thought the second half we got – we did what St. Peter do because we got stops on defense. And our defense translated to offense. The first half we were trying to make sure – we were trying to get too many – Things too easy on offense, and that's not who we are. Speaking on just the, the being back home factor, how much of that, you know, do you think weighed in on? I mean, I think of that junior class, and man, they haven't been here since they were true freshmen. And you know, obviously they're a big part of this team. Guys like Casey, that they haven't been this really since they were sophomores. Obviously they're veterans, they're leaders on this team. But do you think that was just a factor? And obviously the bright lights and being here in this building, and opening it up, and all that. I thought it was, I thought all of it played a factor. You know, I, I gotta blame myself. I I should have stuck to my guns. On a couple of things I was, I was going to do early on, and with, with a couple of the guys, I didn't do it. You know, that's you know bad leadership on my part. On my part, I thought it messed us up a little bit. Um, all we can practice, we had certain guys playing certain things, and I kind of changed it around um, tonight. So that was bad leadership and bad decision on my part. But um, yeah, I thought you know for the most part, um, like I said, those guys are five juniors, and you know Casey. Uh, that's why I kind of you know I went with that crew to start it because I thought you know I wanted to make sure that we didn't get too hype and too juiced. And to be honest with you, we did, and it kind of messes up. And like I said, give them credit, man. They came out and played hard, and, you know, they were a very well-coached team. Show does a great job with his team. And, um, you know, we just um, I'm going to watch film and kind of build from it. Obviously, a game like tonight gives you, you know, the opportunities to work in newcomers, fresh faces, those who are new to the program. Uh, how would you evaluate just the, what you saw from that group of newcomers, particularly, you know, guys like Jalen Murray, guys like Isaiah Dasher that uh, played a little bit, you know, up there in terms of minutes. Um, you know, what was your just evaluation of, of how – you know what I, you know I'm, I'm a different type of coach. You know a lot of a lot of coaches probably think that those guys played really really well, but you watch the film, they really didn't. Um, but you know for a kid like Jalen, he hasn't played in two years. All right, so you know this is kind of like, kind of warming him up a little bit, trying to get him get him going. And Isaiah just him being home, to tell you the truth, I didn't think he was gonna play today. He, he was out with a, a sprained ankle for the last week week and a half. So you know he him playing today was. A big boost. I'm happy for him, homecoming for him, you know, give him a chance to play, you know, home a little bit. But um, now we got a lot of work to do, man. Like, I'm just I'm just being honest with you, we got a lot of work to do. And if we play like this next week, it's not going to be a good outcome. Well, uh, looking at obviously something positive, uh, the halftime ceremony tonight, and obviously the reason why tonight was so special, bringing back that 1967-1968 that team, uh, one of the most special teams in St. Peter's history. Um, how did that resonate with you, and, and just how you know special was it, you know, just, not just for you, but for this whole group to – to be part of them and obviously uh, for, for that group to be part of, you know, this experience of being here in this building and the transformation, uh, you know, what that means to Yeah, you know what, I, I, I wanted to come up and see it a little bit, um, but the way we played in the first half, I had to get on, on my team at halftime. But, you know, I thought, I thought it was unbelievable. It was a great turnout, you know, all those guys was here for the most part that I know of. Um, you know, you know, speaking with, you know, Mr. Mr. McMahon, he was very proud of, you know, how the arena turned out. Um, and so was, you know, everyone there. But I think you know I'm 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 huge with tra with tradition, right? And um, if it wasn't for them, then we wouldn't be here now. You know, and that's why I try to explain to my guys, and I want to make sure my my guys go up, and hopefully some of them still around, because I want them I want to make sure they go up and say hello to them, and tell them thank you, you know, thank you for laying the path for us. And um, you know, moving forward, we just want to try to keep building step by step. Thank you. Coach. Thank you.